Bureau of Land Management closed during what would have been their annual Eagle Watch Week. The Eagle Cruises at the Coeur d'Alene Resort are going to be one of the best ways to get a guided look at our nation's symbol, the bald eagle. Those cruises are well underway, and it's a great year for them. Our hot camera working for you tonight, explaining why. It was all about eagles on Lake Coeur d'Alene today. The cold weather certainly didn't keep people from getting out. Raptor biologists are saying the eagle numbers were some of the highest they've ever seen. Snagging a kokanee from the water, chasing off a rival, perching still in the snow-covered trees just watching. It's that time of year on the lake. Time for eagles. They arrived early this year in early November, and they're here in record numbers. For the in-towners and many out of... One eagle every second. This is really nice. Spotting these beauties winging by has become an annual tradition. They're so Americana. They're so elegant and scavengery. <laughs> Some, though, gaining appreciation for them day of. Well, when I was invited to come out and see the eagles, I thought it was a football game in a bar in Coeur d'Alene, you know, and we'd have, like, pizza and <laughs> beer. When it comes to these eagles, though, one might say it's the females that are the linebackers. But the females are always larger. Reverse sexual dimorphism comes into play in birds of prey. Females can weigh 12 to 13 pounds with a 7-foot wingspan. Males weigh 9 to 10 pounds with a 6-foot wingspan. Both males and females come prepared to feast on those kokanee salmon, which are spawning. Most of that spawning happening where Wolf Lodge Creek comes into the lake, and more fish means more eagles. So Wolf Lodge Bay, Higgins Point, and Beauty Bay are where you can sight the most eagles. Of course, it takes time for them to know where to go. Well, we know the adults arrive here first with their white heads and white tails and their experience, followed by the younger juvenile birds. They'll all stay until the kokanee spawn and ensuing die-off wraps up, usually in January. But in the meantime, there's a bunch of birds to see. Only guesses right now as to why so many this year, though. Well, we can only hypothesize that there are, A, more kokanee salmon, B, there's less salmon to the north on Pond Array, hence those eagles have pushed south. And third, could be more bald eagles recovering still from endangerment. I'm Hawk Hammer, KXLY4 News.